It's a beautiful Saturday morning in September and I'm standing in the brand new garden outside Duke Raleigh Hospital where a number of artists have gathered to help raise support for a house that supports the families of cancer patients. I'm planning to do a painting of this scene but uh, I'm not sure which part of the scene I'm going to do yet. Maybe you can help me decide. What would you do? <laughs> Thanks for your input. Okay, I wanted to talk about something a little bit different on this video, especially since many of you have already seen a number of my other painting in fast motion videos. This painting was done for Duke Valley Hospital and I had a great time that day, lots of fun visitors, and it was a beautiful day, a lot of other artists to talk to. But I, I don't want to say too much, but I, I wasn't terribly thrilled with the painting. I, I stop it right here. Look at the composition. I've got a broad swath of yellow curving along the bottom, a blob of yellow at the top center and a blob at the right, and then the rest is blue. There's just no way I'm going to get a really good composition out of that shape. It's just too complex. So I make the best of it. I, uh, I do what I can, but it makes me think that the way I normally start a painting which is by blobbing in large areas of color is in fact a better way for me to start a painting than by drawing, which is what I did at the beginning of this painting. It also makes me think of a great quote I read by a fabulous watercolor painter, Alvaro Castanet out of Uruguay. He said, never let what you're looking at ruin a good painting. Uh, it's, it's hard to sometimes be focused and create something that may look very different from what you're looking at, but you need to create something that is beautiful, not just be a slave to what you're looking at. Good point.